There are so many times where I'm out and me and my friends will point at girls and be like, oh look, it's an intermix mannequin. Oh, I think I saw that at the window at Barney's, you know, things like that, where there really is no connection between the person and what she's wearing. She's literally outfitted herself in what she saw. I was at Topshop with a really close friend of mine and I was complaining to her about the sad state of my love life because it was like failed relationship after failed relationship and I was online to pay and I had a few things in my arms and I was like, why does this keep happening to me? And she was like, maybe it's because of how you dress and I'm like, what do you mean? And she's like, well look at what you're wearing. You're wearing these high-waisted denim cutoffs with a button-up uh, denim shirt and these suede black flat booties and I was like, holy shit, I'm a man repeller. So like we really came up with the idea together. I did intend for my blog to be this open forum for people to take inspiration from and to pull what they wanted, even if it's something as simple as this is totally inspiring what I want to wear tomorrow, I love how she's wearing red on red on red, I want to do that too. Or, or something grander, like this is a... You, you're giving me control over my relationship status. I'm single because I want to be single, because this is how I dress and I'm not going to give it up for the sake of a man. My parents are both from very old traditional worlds and they're so progressive in their raising us, which I think is great. You know, I went to a really academic yeshiva day school for, for high school and when I told them that I wanted to apply to the new school, they were like, no, 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 we don't send our kids to those kinds of schools. And I sort of just applied anyway and my dad's like, if that's where you want to go, that's where you're going to go. And so I was, I was probably, me and another classmate were probably the first two out of anyone in, in our school's history to ever actually go to the new school. My mom is the model man repeller, but she failed because she's married. I remember when I was younger, she used to have the most outrageous things, like suede checkered bright multicolored pants that were denim on one side and that suede check on the other. I mean, she just used to come back from Milan when they were still on Lira, because she's from Milan, but she, whenever she would go visit, because my dad's in the jewelry business and there's a show there every year, so he would always take her with her and she'd come back with like trunks of outrageous clothes, like huge, huge flamboyant bright shoulder pads and that was when Versace was really in. But my dad is equally flamboyant. He's like always in the brightest pant you can find, like bright sweaters, printed everything. He has a signature bow tie. I think I, my fascination in bow ties started with my dad. My grandmother is is an amazing woman. She, she lived in Turkey until the 80s when she came here because my dad was here. Like she bought me my first pair of designer shoes ever. She bought them for me when I was 15, so my parents weren't very happy. They were like, what's a 15-year-old girl doing running around in Jimmy Choo sandals? But, um, I don't know, they're still my favorite shoes. They, they just, they mean so much to me because shoes have become such a big part of who I am. And this is kind of where it started. This is where, like, the whole collection started. Two of the better things I've obtained from my grandmother are, are this ostrich skin Hermes clutch. Mm. Again, something very sentimental because it's one of the, um, first more expensive designer pieces that my grandfather bought for my grandmother and in a sea of three granddaughters and one daughter of her own I'm not sure why she decided to give it to me I guess because she knows that I'm so enthused by fashion and this green vintage Chanel bag that I will probably wear until I die my grandmother is, is an amazing amazing woman even personality wise she's a total nut you should hear the way she speaks to her friends like I feel like my grandfather's always nudging her under the table um, she's she's crazy and I am too the trends that women love men really don't understand because things are a lot more uh, sartorially articulate you know it's not it's just not very comprehensible I, I guess there definitely is like some feministic undertone and people will argue it because they say if it's feminism, you reject fashion altogether, but how can you say what is feminist and what's not? You know, as I said before, I, I really, very truly just started this blog because I wanted to keep track of what was inspiring me, and I, I wanted somewhere to be able to, like, inject some humor in my writing because I, I couldn't really do that academically because it just didn't flow with very many of my classes and it, it spiraled into something else. And that's, that's part of the appeal of being a blogger. It's that you're taking fashion advice and listening to the opinion of a girl that's like you. You don't need an Anna Wintour to dictate what you're gonna wear tomorrow. Because style is something that comes from so far within. It has, doesn't, I don't know, what you wear is a reflection of it, but it's not everything by any means.